Hello everyone, welcome to the Market Outlook for the week. Gaurang Shah here from Chiyajit Financial Services. And as I speak to you this early noon on Monday, uh, the market started off with uh, deep red thanks to the news flows from the global arena. On the crude oil front, on the dollar tightening, uh, on the higher side appreciation in the dollar, uh, Fed move as far as interest rates are concerned and of course the bigger uh, contributor to this down mood, not only in our markets but in international market is of course the geopolitical situation between Russia and Ukraine. It remains to be seen how that pans out. And like I mentioned earlier, I think I hope uh, wisdom prevails upon uh, leaders of the respective country and uh, there is a uh, resolution that is uh, drawn out of uh, mutual understanding. Having said that, uh, the markets, uh, like I mentioned, started off with a uh, deep red, but there has been some recovery from the morning lows that we've seen. And as, as I speak to you, Sensex is trading closer to 57,100, down about 1100 odd points. Nifty is uh, trading above 17,000 on the spot, down 300 points. And the Nifty Bank at uh, 37,500, which is down close to about 1,000 points. So this is the situation and uh, there is no respite. Uh, just a couple of green ticks against the larger red color which we are seeing on the markets. On the rupee dollar front, well, uh, weakness in the rupee against the dollar, 75.50 as I speak to you against the dollar and uh, the energy basket which is a big cause of concern as of now, especially for us because uh, rupee is weakened against the dollar and along with that, we are seeing uh, close to 95.50 uh, dollars a barrel mark on the Brent, 94.40 uh, dollars per barrel mark on the NYMAX. Now, this is a case of concern and uh, large, larger section of the commodity experts believe that uh, Brent could move to $100 mark uh, because of the geopolitical situation between Russia and Ukraine. And if that happens, then uh, I think uh, we are already trading at seven year highs as far as crude oil prices are concerned. And uh, if the rupee continues to weaken and uh, if crude oil has to Brent and NYMEX, of course, Brent could go to about 96, $90, uh, $100 a barrel and NYMEX could go to about 96, $98 a barrel. This would be a case of concern, but uh, let's hope that uh, there is no any escalation situation as far as the geopolitical tension between Russia and Ukraine. Having said that, uh, there are also fears of uh, Fed hiking rates in the month of March or early April. Uh, whether it is aggressive or whether it is uh, slow and steady move upwards is something that we'll have to wait and watch. But uh, uh, in all likely possibility, dollar could gain some strength against the world currency and uh, even against the Indian uh, rupee there could see some amount of strength in the dollar, which could create a little bit of problem, at least from the short to medium point of view. The level that I spoke to you on the Nifty and Sensex, well, this is not the first time. Uh, I think in the recent time, we have seen these levels a little bit lower than that. If I can recollect, recollect the date right, it was uh, 20th of December 2021, wherein we touched uh, 16,600 or thereabout on the low side. Earlier than that, in August and September 2021, we've seen this level closer to 16,500. And uh, I had also mentioned earlier before we hit that low of uh, 16,600 in December 2021, that uh, levels below Nifty spot, below 17,000 on the Nifty spot looks extremely restricted. And I am of the same opinion even now when we are trading closer to 17,000 that uh, the downside looks quite protected. There could be uh, a percent or two lower from here but uh, I don't think we are going to go much deeper and break the lows that we possibly made in August, September 2021 or uh, December 2021. So if you have been waiting for uh, a correction and wanting to participate from a long term point of view. I think these are the levels that you should start uh, deploying your money, your capital, slowly, steadily, not uh, rush or be aggressive. 
I think 25, 30, 40 percent of whatever capital you want to invest, you can start nibbling into at current levels. Sectors I have mentioned earlier, uh, IT, banks, both private and public, autos, metal, cement and certain FMCG stocks. I think this is the broad universe of uh, sectors with large cap in mind that you should possibly look at nibbling into it. Uh, my sense is that uh, the outcome of election also on 10th of March could have its impact on the market. But since we have been correcting on fallback of uh, global news flows, in case if there is any uh, you know uh, uh, negative outcome or the outcome is not as per the uh, expectation of the exit poll or whatever be it, then since the correction has already come in because of global news flows, I don't think there could be much deeper correction. We may react and then bounce back. Of course, it all depends on 10th of March as to what is the outcome of these state elections. So one will have to wait and watch. But uh, again, I would like to rephrase. Uh, uh, I would again like to mention that uh, levels below 17,000 on the Nifty spot uh, looks extremely protected. So start deploying uh, selectively. Uh, Q3 numbers. Uh, well, uh, this week would be the curtains down for the third quarter earning season of this financial year. Uh, few in the companies would be coming out with the numbers and then it will be curtains down and then of course we'll be eagerly waiting for fourth quarter this financial numbers as and then the numbers start coming in but uh, again downside looks protected start deploying selectively don't rush into it uh, step by step approach is going to be more appropriate in this kind of an unforeseen situation and hope that the geopolitical tension finds a way out uh, through negotiation and not by firing guns and missiles at each other. Take care. Stay home. Stay safe. Uh, thank you very much for your patience hearing. And I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.